Let's go over the modules. As you know, you arrived at the modules by clicking this tab on the left menu bar. Let's go down through these modules together. This course is laid out in a very logical fashion. Because this is online education, I need to find a way to make sure that students are reading all of the course materials. And so, each page builds on the page that came before. And that's fun. And the important thing is that you go through each page individually. Some are very short pages, others are longer pages. And each page is required for you to study or you will get lost and I will be able to see that when you submit an assignment. Now I'm going to pause just one second. Your fellow darlings who are in my other 102 courses are now at the point in the semester where some of them who are absolutely brilliant have lost almost half their points in penalties. Why? Because they are not reading the course and it shows up when they submit documents. Don't let that be the case with you. Go through everything methodically. Let me show you how. I just opened that very first page and there's a little tutorial. You know how I love tutorials. And as soon as I have finished reading and watching this tutorial, then I'm going to go right down here and I'm going to click Next and that's going to take me to the next page. And this shows me that there is no book necessary for this course. And I read down and I find the other information and then I come over here and I click Next and that takes me to the next page. By using this method I make sure that I never miss a page and that I know exactly what's going on. I know we're in kind of a hurry, but I want you to get to know me. These are very, very short little introductions. Okay? All right. Remember that if anything as a crisis happens, and I mean that's a campus crisis where Canvas shuts down, the campus shuts down, whatever, then you can use this email address. Otherwise, always email me through this left menu bar right here that says email and only email me about topics. If you email me about course instructions, I'm simply going to ask you to follow the course instructions and that's going to frustrate everybody. If you have your cyber cafe, it's already set up. You can go in there and meet your folks right now. Okay, so that's how to go through the modules. Let's go back to those modules again. Okay, so we go through all these modules, we watch everything and that's going to take you just about maybe 10 minutes, literally, I promise. Then we go down to these discussion boards. We've already gone over that. Let's zoom on past that. And this is the course study materials. I cannot tell you how important it is that you read each and every one of these pages. They are easy. All of them, or most of them, contain video tutorials. You know how I love tutorials. And so you can follow these and keep going through. Remember that you have some grammar ch uh, checker software, including NetTutor, which I'm going to post an announcement for tomorrow. I don't want to overwhelm you today. It's been a big day, and I know it's stressful having a new pitch hitter come in three weeks into the semester, but you can do this. You're brilliant. Okay, now we have brushing up on skills. We just went over that in the assignments, and you're going to want to make sure that you read the PDF and the instructions before you turn in an assignment. I can't tell you how many times this happens and we don't want it to happen. You're always going to submit a PDF. You're always going to use that same format. What is that format? Let's remind ourselves. This and always this. Name, course, the date, the word count, revisions, and a final word count so you get credit for the words you write. Everything has a title. Double spaced. Right? Okay. Back to the modules. So here we are back at these introductory exercises, which is more fun than you deserve, more fun than I deserve, and you'll have fun doing these. 
Next, you have the My Music paragraph that I told you about. There are specific instructions in there that I want you to make sure that you follow. Be sure you double space that, that you have a title, that you include the images that are required, and that you don't skip any steps for this. Then we have the Flash Fiction module, and again, these pages are important for you to read before you submit the document. I can't tell you how many students fly in here and just go, what do I got to do? Click on the submit here and don't read the instructions. Again, I can't stress enough, everything is laid out in a logical fashion to make sure that students read the course content. Next, we have the classic literature essay. This is a short essay, and I take you step-by-step -step instructions. Classic literature is, for some people, intimidating. And that is why I have included a tutorial on how to read classic literature. This works every time, and it allows you to uh, enjoy classic literature rather than going into a brainstorm. Then we have poetry, which is a nice break. After you've written that literature essay and you've read this piece of classic literature, it's nice to take a break and listen to gorgeous poetry. Let's take a look at this really quickly. This is the page I'm going to open. You can do this at any time in the, sem in the early part of the semester. You don't have to do this all in one day. You can come to this module anytime you want. It's open all semester. I have a little tutorial that explains about these poetry readings. And then all of these are just fantastic. It took me about 20 hours to put these together. Why? Because I wanted to practice my computer skills. No, because I want you to listen to beautiful poetry. So you will listen to these and I have a time tracker on Canvas that will show me exactly when you logged into this page and when you completed listening to these poetry readings. You can do those in one sitting. You can do them in multiple sittings. You can do this, I think, from your phone. I'm not sure, but while you're sitting on campus, you can log into the course possibly and listen to these readings. It's all going to register in time tracking for you. Anytime you are on this page, because it is time tracked, I will be able to see that you spent time. If not very many people do this, but sometimes people log into the computer and then just keep it logged in for eight hours and figure that nobody's going to see. Well, that's not how it works. I didn't put these poems in here because they're boring and because I wanted to torture my students. I put them in here because I want you to listen to beautiful poetry. And I mean for you to do this. It's part of the curriculum. It's part of the course. It's why you took this class. Let's not have to have this discussion, okay? Back to the modules. This is where I just was. Then there's a little poetry assignment that won't take you very long to do, and it's really fun and creative. Then we have the film study. After poetry readings, I think it's nice to watch film. I love to watch film, don't you? I want you to find a documentary subject that interests you, and you have a little assignment there. Again, how will you format that assignment? I'm not going to pause and go there. You can scroll back on this video and see how you format everything. Then you will study Module 8. This is the big hero archetype essay. This counts as 25% of your grade, one-fourth of your grade. I've given you step-by-step -step instructions about how to write this essay. I need you to follow that to the letter so that this is your very best piece of academic writing. It builds on everything that came before. And remember, you have NetTutor. You can write the essay, submit it to NetTutor, and get feedback. 
That's due October the 13th. And finally, your masterpiece, the final take-home creative essay. These are the images for you to choose from. There's some images here, and then I did a 2019 to 21 update. There are so many images in here for you to choose from. Do you need to use one of these images? Yes. Can you pick an image of your own? No. Can you use the same image that somebody else is using? Yes, but why would you? I would want to have something unique because this is my masterpiece. This is my chance to create something fantastic. There are criteria for this essay, and those are included in these pages. You want to make sure you cover everything completely. Everybody usually does a fantastic job on this. Occasionally, students forget to include a symbol. I've given you an example in here, so when you study these pages, then you'll be able to get to that. And I've given you all until the very last day of class. The semester ends on October 20th. I've given you till October 20th, midnight, to turn that in. Then I'll stay up all night, and then I'll stay up all day tw the 21st and 22nd, and I'll get those grades posted to give you every single opportunity and moment. This has been what I like to call the Cook's Tour of the course. I know this is all new. I know that you are having to take over in midstream with a new instructor and new assignments, but these assignments are the same ones that I offer in the spring and summer, I mean the summer and winter courses that are only five weeks long, so this is completely doable. You have lots of choices to make. I like students to have a feeling of choice and to study the things that they find interesting and to share those in those cyber cafe groups as well as the student forum, the open forum. So enjoy the course, watch these tutorials as many times as you need, and let's get cracking getting things turned in. I'll be right behind you grading, so we'll get caught up and we'll have a wonderful productive semester, and uh, we'll all be happy. Okay, all right, that concludes this final tutorial on the new curriculum for English 102.